set wise pretty good I said we can't see tension but we can see that when you were swinging the club before there was quite a lot of tension especially the thumbs of the grip squeezing down for dear life and just put so much pressure sort of towards the, your forearm and your shoulders and, and your body couldn't function as, as you want to do okay the issue we had is we were coming to the golf ball now from the top arms started working sort of faster up to the golf ball there hands sort of rising up so into impact here now we've got a big gap between there and there hands very high potentially towing the ball off the right because if the handle goes this way the club kind of goes that way yeah. and you get very steep what we're looking for if you look at your practice swings here now it's obviously when you're doing a slower movement okay as the club is starting to work back down here now you can see now we're getting a bit more of a an angle there still could be a little bit more of truth be told but that's kind of the feeling we're trying to create if you look at yeah. your postures maintain better there sticking back you're less hunched and less rounded okay as you then go through to play the shot it's in between kind of where it was and where the practicing was. Practicing is obviously going to be slower, so they're not going to have as much of a force throwing you up. But as you come into the golf ball now, arms coming down there. You can see, look at your arms and position here now. Exactly. Yeah. Everything now is kind of this. Yeah. So everything's coming into the golf ball kind of this way, not that yeah. way. And therefore, leaving the daylight, as we can see. If you've got too much daylight in there, so on your left shoulder's lifting up and arms getting high and the right arm sort of underneath them is your hands sort of going out this way, which means the club then is going back in, which is going to lead then to those sort of toey ones off to the right there. I mean, even this one on the right-hand side is a little bit toey if we look yeah. at sort of where the shaft is here. That's kind of middle of the club. That's a toey one, so it's still a little bit toey, but less toey as your hands are starting to, which is why this position here now isn't at the moment perfect but getting towards where you want to okay ideally speaking we sort of keep the hips back and your posture will be better as the arms look down so again if you go, go to the range with someone you're playing with okay or practicing with yeah get them to stand there with a the club out there about three or four inches from your hand when you first start okay if you start off here you should be nowhere near that stick as you come back through as you swing back to this one here now is not as close as it used to be but kind of moving up that way slightly okay and again for me the clustering of your golf balls now I kind of, if we actually look where the ball, if I sort of zoom out, it's carrying this, I think I've got a bit longer. I'll go back a bit, actually. When, it goes out, when you get to this sort of screen, I'll go a bit further there. Oh, God, too far, it's 14 there. Okay. So, when your golf balls were out there, they're kind of in a cluster there, whereas before, had a couple over here, a couple over there, yeah. one down there, just, just a complete scattering of golf balls. There's no real consistency with the shot, okay? So, loosen your grip pressure at setup, especially through the thumbs going down. Yeah and feel the arms, you say, working a bit lower, so they're working under your shoulders. If you have one that pings off the side, which, if I'm honest, you'll probably get the next one of the range, I'm saying it completely disappear. Make a few swings from the sort of top, you know, just work on kind of this movement here, just letting the arms sort of fall into the body and dropping down this way. No hit at all, so you kind of feel where that club is, working on this movement. This is the key movement to work on now, and to be fair, it's the most important part of the golf swing. That's where the golf ball gets the information from the club yeah. into impact. It doesn't matter what, what your backswing or your downswing is looking like. It's where the club's striking the ball that sends the ball on its way. So yeah. work on that downswing now. Get the arm sort of falling down this way. So the hands are working in, getting that club, ideally speaking, a bit more of a, an angle there. Okay, mate, makes yeah, sense? Lovely. Good man, well done, mate.